right there for the truck. Oh, you just saw a 10 second diesel truck. Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the garage. So we're back to working on the race truck. Um, I took a couple days off there. Well, not off. I only did a little, little dumb shit to the truck. It's been ungodly humid here in Pennsylvania. And after getting home from work, sit down for a little bit. I wasn't going to come out here until it was dark. So obviously we really couldn't get into anything too busy. Um, tonight it is also dark, but it, the humidity has dropped substantially. So we're going to try and get some stuff done. So in the last couple days, like I said, all the uh, big projects were painted up our sweet breather for the fuel cell. As you can see, nice little uh, gloss black, just like the frame. As you can see, I have our flash scan V2 EFI Live thing, um, controller or tuner, whatever you want to call it. Uh, we'll talk about that in a video, either the next one or the following one. And the Mini Max, so that's all part of our data logging stuff. Um, and we'll go into depth about that later. So, got that done. Also, I figured out that we can get rid of the four-way switch. This piece right here, because... If I turn the truck on and I touch these two wires here, which one's a hot one and the other's a ground, so I can use any ground, but... Our flashers work so we can just hook this up to a toggle switch somewhere in here because well I just want it because I figure we'll definitely put some miles on on the street with this thing you know limited just for testing purposes um, and it's always good to have flashers when you think that a breakdown is inevitable so uh, that's kind of why I want to put that but this makes it a lot easier that we can just put a toggle switch in got that taken care of Inside here is a mess, which is part of tonight's activities. Also, our transmission wires, I just put them on a solderless connector and put them to the neutral. I grounded them out for now, which will show neutral on the truck, as you can see. So when we get everything all hooked up and back on, the reverse lights won't work on the truck and the dash will not display reverse anymore. It'll just be neutral all day long. Um, we will fix that later, but I just want to try and get the truck so we can go take it out for a little test spin. In doing that, we're going to try and finish our selectable hood stack finally and, you know, done right with two, two, uh, two butterfly valves, one in the exhaust, uh, the, the downpipe exhaust and one in the hood stack exhaust. So I'd like to get those wired up. And also I would like to finish the tailpipe section here, which in the last video, we started messing with pie cuts and all that. And somebody had commented and it was something I never thought of because I was just so focused on the pie cut thing. Well, why not just grab a piece of flex pipe? So uh, whoever that was, I can't remember who it was. Thanks for commenting that. Definitely gonna use your idea. Being this is like a temporary setup, flex pipe is perfect for what we're doing. So we can put that in there, weld it up, kind of direct things how we want, and fix all of our clearance issues with our new cross member and with the transmission cross member. So when get so I want to finish that exhaust is number one. Number two, I want to put a switch in for the four ways and also the trans cooler and the engine cooling fans i want to put those on a switch they are both currently thermostatically controlled but i don't want to rely on just that i like to have the switch because when we're at the track i will definitely have the trans core on the whole time and the engine fans will be on at least up until i stage the truck just trying to keep that cool air going through the intercooler and trying to keep this charge air here cooled by the air going through our intercooler obviously when we run down the track the fans aren't necessary but that's kind of how i it's kind of how i operate things um not that we've had enough testing to see if it really does anything but that's what i do uh and pretty much just clean up this entire mess remount our anteater all that good jazz so uh all right that's enough uh of an explanation let's get to it let's get this exhaust done and uh Make this thing work properly, finally.
Well, it is much later. Um, the exhaust definitely took a little more, yeah, a little more of everything than I expected, uh, as is the case anymore in the garage. Everything seems to take way longer than it should. And I even forgot to cut my mounts down. I made these, uh, brackets for the exhaust hangers out of these u-bolts that i had gotten uh, i was going to cut them down but i completely forgot about that once i got it done i moved on to the um, wiring portion of this but as you can see it is in our flex pipe is actually a little tight to the trans cross member but i think with our solid engine mounts it shouldn't be an issue but the pipe comes down comes out and then I used the offset that was already in the pipe to kind of come down to try and line up with the muffler. Um, everything's pretty, pretty sturdy. So I'm happy with that. Now, as far as the wiring goes for the uh, two cutouts, what I did was I took one of the switches apart and I added a, another one of these connectors. So that, well, not another. I added the one from the other switch, the one we had previously. So I added that and just reversed the polarity to where it was attached on here and just soldered those onto the switch. So when we hit the switch open, or well, when we hit the switch one way, it should open one valve and close the other and vice versa. So we're gonna test that now. Um, as you can see, the inside of the truck is still a mess. My little LED light died. It's just, that exhaust just took way longer than it should have. So I got the anti-gravity battery hooked up. When we hit the switch, we should hear something. Sounds like... Sounds like both of them are moving. Go the other way. Alright, so it seems as though that works. We will reattach our battery temporarily and start the truck and see if they actually work. So, of course this is a pigsty. There we go. And I think we're out of fuel. Uh, doesn't look like much is in there. While I fill this thing up, you guys watch the Katie did. Give this another try. Exhaust out the hood stack. Nothing at the tailpipe. is in full functioning order. Uh, we got a little rattle here. I missed this clamp. I'll have to tighten that up. The selectable hood stack finally works. 
um, as it was designed. Completely either shutting off the rear exhaust or completely shutting off the hood stack. Um, so you have that like stealth approach if you want. Uh, really at this point how this has progressed with the fuel cell and all this kind of stuff yeah it's kind of just not needed at all not that it's needed on anything but it was kind of cool premise i thought so we now know it works we will definitely try it at the track um i think that'll be interesting just you know try and go and run a, a 10 second pass like we have with the full exhaust going come back up hey there's that white truck again and then turn the hood stack on and wait a minute uh, I just think it'll confuse some people, which I think is pretty cool. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, we definitely need to finish all the stuff in the cab I talked about earlier. The switches and put the seat in, obviously, uh, before we can take this thing out for a rip. But uh, we're getting close. The data logging stuff, you know, that video should be coming up hopefully soon. I should have just about everything I need here shortly. Um and got in the bed. We're definitely cutting that thing all up. There's going to be uh, a lot less bed going back on this truck than came off. So I hope you guys enjoyed once again. Please like the video, subscribe to the channel. I'll check you on the next one. Get out of your garage. Get the wrenching on your truck.